Welcome back to Classic Replay. Now the Nintendo Switch, it's hard to believe, was released worldwide in 2017 and the console has gone from strength to strength. The focus here with this video is the arcade archives. There are over 241 games with 108 of those being the ACA Neo Geo. Rumour has it also that Nintendo want to build the arcade archives up to over 400 titles. And I'm not sure how true this is, but the Nintendo Switch reportedly has sold just under 120 million consoles. And on that bombshell, please join me as we bring back the classics on Nintendo Switch. These are the top 15 games. Number 15, In The Hunt. I seem to remember the arcades of yesterday. There was loads of submarine style shooters, but this one caught my periscope. <laughs> but seriously, it's two player. There's a good challenge here, and it looks and sounds brilliant. Every console needs a quality conversion like this. And without question, this is a top notch shooter map. I do miss the arcades. I wish they'd come back. Number 14. Sunset Riders. Step on the wrong edge of a pit fork and knock yourself out. Now I'm not sure how many four player games there are in the arcade archives collection, but this is one of the best. Set in the wild wild west, you are a bounty hunter. Unlike the Milky Bar Kid, you make your living by catching big time outlaws. You start out with a trusty pistol, two fire buttons, you must horizontally scroll your way from Santa Fe to Boot Hill. Yeehaw! Number 13, Track and Field. Another four player game. Although I'm not sure how four people would play at once. And I've not been able to check that or validate that because I've only got two controllers. But this is 1983 action for the family in 2023. And it's fantastic fun, even now. And you just use the assigned run button and jump button. And it's as simple as that. But as you can see, true precision comes with the timing. Number 12, Rygar. This one was released way back in 1986 and is better known in Japan as Warrior of Argos. No, that's not Captain America's shield. This weapon is known as the Disc Armor. It's fast, furious, frantic fun with loads of sprites on screen at the same time. If you enjoy your punishment and love finger pumping action, Rygar is a great side scrolling blaster from the past. Number 11, Ye Are Kung Fu. Not only one of my favorite Kung Fu games from back in the day, and this is just a pure arcade conversion, which is exactly what I wanted. So we've got to hop, skip, and punch our way through a numerous amount of baddies. It's old stamp, it's as old school as they get, but it's highly playable, and you won't be able to put it down until you've finally completed it. So lots of old school action for your hard earned money, it won't disappoint. Number 10, Donkey Kong. Released way back, all the way back in 1981. No list like this should ever be taken seriously unless Donkey Kong is part of it. This version also incorporates the early version, the later version, and the international version. And looking at it now, the construction site has never looked so good. Hurry up though, don't keep lady waiting. There she is, wave, smile, bye. Number 9, Vendetta. Often overlooked, but this four player beat em up classic is no happy family. As you scroll through the city, you're going to have to knock a lot of teeth out. All this because your girlfriend Kate has been kidnapped? Honestly, you should keep her on the leash, but there's three of you, so you're all gonna gang up and do something about it. <coughs> anyway, the, uh, the graphics look fantastic. Oh, and uh, listen to that sound. Number 8, Gradius. I'm told Gradius 3 and Gradius 2 are better, but for me, you just can't beat the original. And if you like those games, those other games, you can purchase those after you've completed this, it's that simple. And that way, if you're new to these types of games, you can experience it as intended, but don't let better graphics fool you. This is easily one of the best shoot 'em ups ever made, a sci-fi cult classic. Number seven, Packland. Speaking of cult classics, ah, oh, the memories. Taking pills, chasing ghosts, 
in that order is easily better in the real world, but you'll still have loads of fun with Packland. <clears throat> you'll need your head testing if you miss this one, as it really is great value for the money. And they've absolutely nailed the emulation and the arcade controls. For the first time in a long time, I can actually get past the springboard sections. Pinky promise, you'll love it. Number six, Vigilante. Very similar to Kung Fu Master, Double Dragon, but better. The villains come at you, big and beefy, and the plot's a little bit weird in the sense that Madonna, the singer, has been kidnapped. It's blatantly obvious Sean Penn put them up to it. I remember this was 20 pence ago back in the day, and for around two pounds, I was able to complete it. The graphics and sound are really good, and there's a good challenge here. Number five, Ikari Warriors. Now don't laugh, I had this on the Amstrad CPC back in the day, and it was a bloody good conversion. But honestly, nothing gives or delivers so much fun as Ikari Warriors in the arcade. They had a sequel as well, Victory Road, and I think Guerrilla War was very similar. But even now, even today, You've got to give this a go in two-player mode. It's a wonderful experience on the Nintendo Switch. Number four, Double Dragon. I wanted to put Double Dragon 2 in. It's definitely the better game, but I can't recommend it because the moves are more difficult to pull off. They didn't screw up the controls, but they just made it more difficult. So beware choosing two over this original. Number three, Life Force. And get this, you can play two player with a friend. There's both horizontal and vertical scrolling. And this version has some of the most memorable retro music of all time. Although some will argue that the NES has slightly better music. But that's just crazy talk. Life Force is a definite classic. It's one you'll come back to time and time again as a fantastic challenge. And my God, it's on the Switch. Number two, Shadow Warriors, uh, Ninja Gaiden, I'm not sure. What I can tell you is it's one of my favorite beat em ups of all time. It's two player and it feels like a step up from Double Dragon. You can run, jump, somersault and kick the living daylights out of Jason from Friday the 13th. The path of a Ninja Warrior is much, much easier with a friend. These are the ones that almost got away. Not on my watch.
Number one, Contra, better known as Grisor in the UK. Without question, and in my humble personal opinion, this is one of the best games ever made. And I'm going to sneak this one in there. It's one of the best games ever on the Amstrad CPC. If you like this video, please subscribe because we're trying to get there. We're trying to get to 5,000. So please like, comment, ring that bell for further notifications. And until next time, bye!